Here's my solid again. It has some low energy. I'm going to take my flame and slowly put it underneath there. Heat's now going into there to change its temperature. And it starts to heat up, and it heats up by mc delta t. So if I figure out what the temperature change is, right, the heat that comes in is going to make a temperature change. And I keep heating up and keep heating up, pretty soon something else is going to happen. It's going to turn into a liquid. This is going to go that way. I'm now changing phase. Changing phase. All right. Now the heat that's going in, there's not a temperature change. So when you change phase, there's no delta T. All right. So then what's happening? Something else is happening. The temperature isn't changing. Oops, got a little hint there. The temperature isn't changing. The, uh, the phase is changing. So now it's not Q equals MC delta T. It's Q equals M, what's called the latent heat. Latent means you can't find it. And then the latent heat. <clears throat> and that depends on what material you have. So when I go from solid to the liquid, this is the latent heat of fusion. But wait, didn't it just melt? Yeah, but we, we, uh, it doesn't really matter what direction it goes. This Q, uh, this ML is the same for whether that liquid turns into a solid or solid turns into a liquid. And then, if I start heating it up again, I get a Q, right? Heat's still going into there. Q equals MC delta T until finally it starts to boil. And when it boil, it turns into a gas. Yeah. Now I'm changing phase again. Again, Q equals ML, except now this is the latent heat of vaporization. Uh, again, it's vaporization. So also if the gas turns back into a liquid, that's also this one. But isn't there another state of matter isn't there, yeah, if I keep adding heat to this gas, it's going to eventually turn into a, 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 a what's it called, a plasma where the electrons disappear. Well, that's not, we're not covering that. But couldn't I go directly from here to here? Yes, that's your sublimation or uh, deposition. And that's the latent heat of sublimation and deposition, which we won't cover. All right, so let's, uh, those, are, those are the two ways you can change your, um, the, the, as you're, so let's take a look at the graph of what's happening here. So as I am changing around, so as I start down here on my solid, it starts to heat up. My solid down here is heating up until finally it hits the melting point. And then it melts for a little while. So I'm still adding heat. Heat is still being added but my temperature is not changing. Until then, it's all melted, and then I get a new delta into my liquid over here. Now my liquid is heating up. Heating up, heating up, until finally right, it boils away. And this temperature is the boiling point. And then right, it heats up again. The slopes of these are the C's, and you'll notice that they're not the same. The specific heat of a solid is not necessarily the specific heat of a liquid. Let's take a quick, let's do a quick problem here. So now if I want to take 100 grams of negative 4 degree C ice and turn it into 100 degree steam, how much heat do I need? What's my total amount of heat that's going to go? So this is going to be... I need the amount of heat here. Right, so I've got I gotta heat it up, I gotta melt it, I have to heat the liquid up, and then I have to vaporize it. So I'm going to right, heat up or warm, warm it up, plus melt plus warm up the water, plus boil the, boil the water. 
and each one of those is going to have a slightly different piece. So let's take a look at this. All right, so to warm it up, it's going to be MC delta T of the ice, ML, that's the latent heat of fusion of the ice. Plus warm up again, this is MC delta T. Um, this is now water, because it's all water now. And then M latent heat of vaporization. Uh, the specific heat of ice, I think I'm looking it up, is 2000. Again, water, as this turns into the big puddle that's here, this is the specific heat of that, it's 4186. And then I, we didn't use a specific heat of steam because gas has got some issues, and we'll talk about that in a 